Welcome to Cheap Cheese. Did you know that the global chocolate market is expected to reach a whopping $182.09 billion by 2025? That's a lot of cocoa. Now let's dive into some interesting chocolate facts. The top five chocolate producing countries are, in no particular order, the United States, Germany, Switzerland, Belgium, and Italy. Each of these nations has a rich history of chocolate making, offering unique flavors and techniques that set them apart. But when it comes to versus expensive chocolate, there's quite a difference. Countries like Belgium and Switzerland are known for their high-quality premium chocolate. Their products often come with a heftier price tag due to their traditional manufacturing methods and high-quality ingredients. On the other hand, the United States and Germany are famous for their mass-produced chocolates, making them more affordable for a wider audience. But why such a in-price? Well, it all boils down to the cost and quality of ingredients, manufacturing processes, and branding. Premium chocolate brands often use higher percentages of cocoa and less sugar, resulting in a richer, more intense flavor. They also to use cocoa beans from specific regions, adding to their exclusivity and price. Mass-produced chocolates, however, often use cheaper ingredients and faster production methods to keep costs down. It's fascinating to see how the same product can vary so much in price and quality across different countries, but whether you're a fan of a $2 chocolate bar or a $20 truffle, one thing's for sure. Chocolate is a beloved treat around the world. With such an expansive market, it's no surprise that there's a wide variety of chocolates available, from affordable treats to luxurious indulgences. Ever wondered what makes some chocolates cost just a few bucks while others could break the bank? Let's dive into the world of cheap and expensive chocolates. Now, when we talk about cheap chocolate, we're mostly referring to those mass-produced bars you can find at any convenience store. Countries like the USA and Germany are famous for churning out these budget-friendly treats. They're cheap because they use less expensive ingredients and automated processes that churn out chocolates by the thousands. In contrast, expensive chocolates often hail from countries like Switzerland and Belgium, known for their artisanal approach to confectionery. These chocolates are usually handcrafted, using premium ingredients like high-quality cocoa beans and pure cocoa butter. The production process is more labor-intensive and slower, contributing to the higher price tag. But where do the numbers come in? Let's break it down. A cheap chocolate bar might contain just 10 to 20% cocoa, with the rest made up of sugar, vegetable oils, and flavorings. On the other hand, an expensive chocolate bar could contain anywhere from 70 to 100% cocoa, with a minimal amount of sugar and no vegetable oils. This high cocoa content is one of the factors that makes expensive chocolate more costly. Cocoa beans are a commodity, and their price can fluctify based on factors like weather conditions and political instability in cocoa-producing countries. The more cocoa a chocolate bar contains, the more its price is subject to these fluctuations. Furthermore, cheap chocolates often use cocoa processed with alkali, a method known as dutching. This process gives the chocolate a milder flavor and darker color, but also strips away some of the natural antioxidants found in cocoa. In contrast, expensive chocolates usually use non-alkalized cocoa, retaining more of cocoa's natural benefits and complex flavors. So, while you might be saving a few bucks with cheap chocolate, it seems that you're also missing out on the rich, nuanced flavors and potential health benefits of high-quality cocoa. But remember, whether it's a dollar bar or a gourmet truffle, the best chocolate is the one that brings you joy. So, cheap chocolate might be easy on the wallet, but it seems that the pricier options offer a richer and more nuanced taste experience. We all love a good chocolate bar, but have you ever considered what that sweet treat is doing to your health? Let's unwrap the truth. Now when we talk about chocolate, we're really talking about two different worlds. On one hand we have the inexpensive mass-produced chocolates, often filled with sugars and additives. On the other, we have the pricier artisanal chocolates, rich in cocoa and minimal in additives. Cheap chocolate might be a quick fix for your sweet tooth, but it's often high in sugar and fat, which can lead to weight gain and other health issues like diabetes and heart disease. These chocolates often contain less cocoa, the ingredient that holds most of the health benefits of chocolate. Instead, they're filled with sugar, artificial flavors, and vegetable oils. Now let's flip the coin. High-quality, expensive chocolate, particularly dark chocolate, is packed with nutrients. It's rich in fiber, iron, magnesium, copper, and a host of other minerals. Dark chocolate with 70% or more cocoa contains antioxidants like flavonoids which have been linked to numerous health benefits. These include reducing inflammation, lowering blood pressure, and even improving brain function. 
A study published in the British Medical Journal suggested that consuming dark chocolate could reduce the risk of developing heart disease by one-third. Another study found that eating dark chocolate more than twice a week lowered the risk of having calcified plaque in the arteries by 32%. Quite impressive, right? But remember, moderation is key. Even the best chocolate can be bad for you if eaten in excess. So the next time you're in the candy aisle, consider opting for that slightly pricier dark chocolate. Your taste buds might not notice the difference, but your body certainly will. It appears that not all chocolates are created equal when it comes to health. Maybe it's worth spending a little extra on that high-quality dark chocolate after all. Now that we know the differences between cheap and expensive chocolates, let's talk about how much chocolate we actually consume. It's no secret that chocolate is a beloved treat worldwide, but the consumption patterns vary significantly across different countries. On a global scale, the average person consumes approximately 2 kilograms of chocolate each year, but that's just the tip of the cocoa bean. In the United States, known for its love of affordable mass-produced chocolate, the annual per capita consumption is nearly twice the global average. That's a lot of chocolate bars, wouldn't you say? On the other end of the spectrum, we have Switzerland, the home of luxurious high-end chocolates. Interestingly, the Swiss topped the chart with an impressive annual per capita consumption of over 9 kilograms. That's equivalent to more than 180 standard chocolate bars per person per year. Seems like the Swiss have a sweet tooth that's as grand as their Alps. Now let's consider Belgium, another country renowned for its exquisite chocolates. Despite their reputation for producing some of the world's finest chocolates, the Belgians consume a modest 6 kilograms per person annually. It seems that they prefer to savor their chocolates rather than indulge excessively. Meanwhile, in countries like India and China, where chocolate is less ingrained in the culture, the annual consumption is relatively low, at less than 1 kilogram per person. But with the growing middle class and the increasing popularity of Western foods, these numbers are expected to rise in the coming years. So what does all this mean? Well, it seems that while the love for chocolate is universal, how we consume it is influenced by various factors, including cultural preferences, economic conditions, and even the type of chocolate available in the market. Whether you're a fan of cheap or expensive chocolates, we can all agree on one thing. Chocolate is a beloved treat around the world. That's a wrap on our delicious journey through the world of chocolate. We've taken a deep dive into the rich, creamy universe of cacao, exploring everything from the global market to the contrasting worlds of budget-friendly and premium chocolates. Remember, we started by looking at the sheer size of the chocolate market. It's a worldwide phenomenon with countries like Switzerland and Belgium renowned for their pricey gourmet chocolates, while others such as the United States and Ivory Coast are associated with more affordable treats. We then moved into the heart of the matter, the differences between cheap and expensive chocolates. We learned that the price tag can often be a reflection of the quality and type of ingredients used, the production process, and even the ethical standards upheld by the chocolate company. Our journey took a turn towards the health impact of chocolate consumption. We discovered that while all chocolate can have some health benefits, the pricier chocolates with their higher cocoa content and lower sugar levels often pack a healthier punch. We also touched on the global consumption patterns, revealing how our love for chocolate transcends borders and cultures. This exploration has shown us that chocolate is more than just a sweet treat, it's an indulgence, a comfort, a globally loved delight, and sometimes a luxury. But whether you're a fan of the more affordable brands or you prefer the gourmet varieties, remember the best chocolate is the one that brings you joy. If you enjoyed this tasty tour and want to learn more fascinating facts, don't forget to subscribe. Stay sweet and we'll see you in the next video.